Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Keeping Goals. If you're new here, my name is Connor O'Keefe and Keeping Goals is a vlog following my attempt at becoming a professional goalkeeper at the highest level of international football. I am in England at this moment in time. I've just arrived home and upon arriving home, I have received a very special box. I've been pretty excited to get my hands on this because we have a very new, very exciting glove partnership to announce. I am very excited to announce that my new glove sponsor is Calia. For those of you within the goalkeeping community, you will know the reputation and the quality of Calia gloves, formerly KA Goalkeeping, run by Kenny Arthur, who is a professional goalkeeper coach with Partick Thistle up in Scotland, ex-professional goalkeeper himself, has pro goalkeepers such as Alan McGregor wearing his gloves. I knew the quality of their gloves and I was very interested in trying them. And once I did, I was very, very excited that they were keen to develop a partnership with me. So I'm very grateful that they have become my personal glove sponsor and I'm excited for all the work that we're gonna be doing together. And hopefully that in turn will bring you guys a little bit of value. So I have received my first care package from Calia and we are gonna crack on and open it up and see what's inside. So to begin with, we have a Aquacharge Goalkeeper Techni Towel. It's a towel for my gloves to help me during games and during training. Next, we have the Recharge Goalkeeper Glove Re-Energizer. Some Calia footballs, a Calia glove bag, and finally, most importantly, we have the gloves. One, two, three pairs of the new launch of Calia gloves. Within these three gloves, I have three different cuts. I have a roll finger cut, I have a positive cut, and I have a negative cut. This is so that I can try out each cut, see what works best for me, and also to give you guys a full review on the different cuts available from Calia. So, as you can probably tell, I'm a little bit excited with what Calia have given me. Thank you very much again to Calia for sending the products, and I'm very, very excited to get going with our partnership and to have them on board as my official glove sponsor. Hope you guys are excited too, because of course, it will bring some benefits for you guys in due course. Now, I'm gonna throw forward to future Connor in Spain with these products to go and give them a test and to get them where they belong, which is out on the pitch. Let's put them through their paces and see what they can do. So, we're back in Spain, sunny Spain, joined by Ilias and Jack, keeping goals, fan favourites and Europa Point teammates. We're here to test the new Calia gloves, as I said, now sponsored by Calia, and here today we're going to test the three different gloves. Each glove is part of the new Annihilator pack from Calia, now available on the website, and I'm going to be testing the roll finger cut, the positive cut and the negative cut. At the end, after I've had a look at each of them and told you what I think, I'll tell you which one I think I'm gonna be wearing for the rest of this season. So first up, we're gonna be testing the roll cut. Ready? Yeah. Let's give it a go. Well, 
Like each of the gloves in the Annihilator pack, the roll finger model has a four millimeter all weather latex, wrap over thumb and secure bandage wrist strap. I don't normally wear roll finger cuts, haven't done since I was a kid. So I'm interested to give them a go, see how it feels. Initially, you can feel a bit more space in the fingers because of the roll, but also you have that added surface area on the fingers. So we'll see how it does in the shooting drill. For each of these gloves, Jack and Lilias have got a drill planned that we're doing some shooting. We'll give a proper test of each of the gloves and we'll see how they cope. So let's give the roll finger model a go. So, to be fair, pleasantly surprised by the roll cut. Don't normally wear roll cut. I feel like it doesn't fit my hand as tightly as other cuts. But the grip was very good. Held onto some that I probably wouldn't normally hold onto. The cut feels comfortable when you hold the ball in the catch position, in a set position. When it comes into your hands, it fits very, very well. I'm gonna move on next to the negative cut, which is the cut that I normally wear and have normally worn in the past. So, we'll be interested to see how that one matches against stuff I've worn before. So I'm gonna go put them. Here are the negative gloves. Very vibrant pink. As I said, negative cuts are the cut that I normally wear. I like how it feels tight around my fingers and the extension of my hand and feels almost natural in movement. Same as the roll cut glove, four millimeter, all weather latex, wrap around thumb, classic strap, which I really like, very, very supportive. We'll give these a go. I'll try not to be biased, seeing as negative is normally my cut, and we'll see how they compare to the other gloves. Those kind of balls are To be fair, I do really like the negative cuts. I like how tight they are on my fingers, as I said before, the feeling I get on the ball, and the fact that they feel like an extension of my hand. There's nothing there that is unnecessary or unnatural. To be fair, in that drill, I don't know how many I actually saved. Ilias was scoring banger after banger. I hope it showed you the grip, the shape, and what these gloves can do, because I really, really do like these gloves. Final pair of gloves, we're on to the positive cut, which is a cut that I've never ever tried before, so I'm excited to give them a go. So I'll go get them out and show you what they look like. Like the other gloves, four millimeter all weather latex, wrap over thumb, classic strap. However, this glove has removable finger spines. So those of you that like finger save or finger protection in your gloves, this comes with that with the positive model. You can remove it. There's a section at the bottom to take them out. With positive gloves, it's a very old school design, very flat palm, 
bigger fingers, bigger surface area. I've never tried a positive glove before, apart from when I was a kid, a long time ago. So I'm excited to give them a go and see what they feel like. So overall, in my opinion, ranking the three pairs of gloves. Coming in at third, I'm going to have the positive cut. Coming in at second, I'll have the roll finger cut. And finally, the pair of gloves that I think I'm going to be wearing for the rest of the season are the negative cut. For me, the tightness around the hand, feeling like an extension of my hand, very natural and the grip is very, very, very good. So that is the reason I think I'm gonna be wearing negative gloves from Calia for the rest of this season. Thank you to Ilias, thank you to Jack, and thank you to Reese behind the camera as well, for helping with this video. But that's it, back to future con. So that's it for this week's episode of Keeping Goals. Very exciting news to be on board with Calia and to start our partnership together. Something that I've tried to keep quiet over the last few weeks but was very very excited to announce and finally I have done and we're going to do some incredible things moving forward. But that's it for this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it, hope you found it interesting, hope it brought you some value having a full review of some of the models available from Calia. Those are just three products within a huge range of gloves and other goalkeeping products offered by Calia. So go and have a look at their website. The link is in the description below this video, also on screen here. And if you guys want to purchase anything from Calia, use the discount code O'Keefe for a 10% off any purchase on the Calia website. All the stuff that I do, I wanna bring value to you guys. So by using that discount code, hopefully you guys can also enjoy some of the incredible products produced by Calia at a slightly cheaper price because you were part of the Keeping Goals Union. We have more exciting content coming up with Calia, but for this week, Thank you very, very much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. If you haven't already, make sure you press that subscribe button so that you never miss an episode of Keeping Goals. Please like, please share, keep the channel growing as you always do. Let me know what you think in the comments of this week's episode. This week's Patron of the Week is Stephen Brown. So thank you so much, Stephen, for your support. I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing without the support from people like you. So here is your Keeping Goals shout out. If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning Patron of the Week and benefiting from all the other bonuses received by patrons, go and have a look at the Patreon page. The link is in the description below this video, also up on the screen now. Go and have a look, have a look at the bonus content that I try and bring to patrons in return for their support. But thank you to all of you guys for watching this video, I really, really do appreciate it. Make sure you tune in next Sunday for the next episode of Keeping Goals at 1pm as always. But thank you so much for watching. Keep chasing improvement this week and I'll speak to you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Speak to you in a bit. Oh, get over. Oh, Jack. Send him in the Oh, Latter. <laughs> Oh!